Welcome back to the Canadian Idol finale. Tonight, we are closing out the biggest show of the summer with some of the biggest names in music. Now, having nearly every single you release become an international hit isn't something a lot of artists can claim, but Canadian Avril Lavigne can. Earlier this week, she took some time out to come by and chat with our final two. Hi, Avril. I'm Brian. Yeah. Nice to Hi, meet it's you. a pleasure to meet you. The sound check sounded great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit different performance. Do you prepare the same way you would for any other performance? My first CD, I was just on stage and just sang all the yeah. songs. I barely talked. I was really quiet and That's shy. Right. Now that I'm on my third record, I, I'm totally different on stage than I was with my first record. You were 17, 16 when you first got out in the world. I'm 17 now. You are? Yeah, I'm 17 now. And there's always that thing with the school. Well, what's more important, your career, your school? What made you decide? Well, I got offered a record contract by a major label. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so my parents let me leave school. And the plan was to do the whole homeschooling thing. I had all my books, but I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of have something in common. When I was about 17 years old, I got to perform with Shania Twain. And I know when I actually got the reaction from the crowd, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Was it sort of the same deal for you? I remember the feeling I got from it was walking up on stage and looking at the crowd. It <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty crazy. surreal, yeah. I mean, I've never seen that many people in my life be like, I have to do this. <laughs> you guys get nervous? I, we got, kind of got a lot at stake, so... It's nerves, it's, but it's I, kind of comfortable. I, I think you agree. It kind of keeps you on your toes. Yeah, well, thank you again very much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you.